guys. I am working on some new class assignments for YouTube. I'm looking to do assignments that are really easy. They're super simple so that anybody can, can work on it. It's not something you need a lot of experience with and definitely something where the more you work on it, the more you practice, the more you try, the better you're going to get. So if you're a beginner, you've never done this before, or if you're an advanced uh, painter and you paint all the time, um, it's good to go back to the basics. So today's assignment is to do a flat or a variegated wash. So I want you to do a flat wash, um, straight on dry paper and also on wet paper. So we're going to start with the wet paper. I've got a brush. This is a nice big fat one. I want to make sure that I don't have any uh, drips here on the ferrule. Okay, so coming back here, I'm just going to, starting with the wet, I want to wet the page. Now you can do this with a round brush. You can do this with a square brush, a flat brush. It doesn't make much difference. Um, it's a little easier to do a square like this with a flat brush, but it's also very important to learn to use the brush that you least like to use. So if there's a brush that you have that you just don't like using because you don't know how to use it, it, it kind of frustrates you, um, let's try that one. Okay, so I've got my water down. I've got it pretty even. And I could do the same thing, like I said, with a round brush. So whatever you've got, use what you've got. The next thing I want to do, since I've got the water on there, is I want to come pick up a color. Okay, so we've got our paint on our brush. I'm going to come up to the corner, and for a flat wash, you want to try to make it as even as possible. Now, the way I do it is I go across, down, not all the way down, across, down, but again, only halfway, across, down, across, down, across, down, across. Okay, this is what you want to avoid when doing a flat wash. Now you can go over it. For today, for today's assignment, I want you to do all the different variations you can think of. So do it once and let it sit. Do it twice. Go over it again. See what happens when you come back in and you remove this little water bubble, this, uh, this little water drop. The way you would do that is you would take a brush, your brush, you take all the color and paint off your brush, and now your brush is thirsty. And then you would just come back and gently tap your brush into that spot. It would be easier if the spot was just a little dot. Okay, while it's all wet, it will not mess up um, your overall flat wash. It shouldn't. Now, if you have uh, if you have access to different types of paper, then that's going to really help. So you can try on a cheap paper, and you can try this on expensive paper. Because you'll find that on the cheaper papers, the water is not going to, the paint is not going to dry completely evenly. So that is today's assignment to practice doing washes. On the second wash, um, I'm going to dry my brush just a little bit. I don't want it too wet. And I want to pick up some paint. You might want a little more water than that. Maybe I'll pick up some paint. And now I want to do the same thing. Now, if you're doing a really, really big one, you wouldn't necessarily go back and cross like this. This is a small, a small example of a wash. I would get all the way to the end, take some of the water off of my brush, and come back here and take this out. Because I know if I don't, I will end up with a little cauliflower. I want to run back and you can see there's still a lot of water in that brush. Um, there we go. Now, if you think that there's something wrong and you want to come back and replay with it, go ahead and do that because that's part of experimenting. You want to see what happens. You want to see what points you can come back and touch it and it will all soften out again. Or if that touch, this mark that we've now made is going to be there forever. So that's today's class assignment. Uh, Go out into the world, guys, and paint some washes. Have fun with it. Try different colors. See where it takes you. And practice, practice, practice. This is one of those fundamental watercolor things. If you ever need to do a background or a sky or anything, water, um, a wing on something, a petal, you're going to want to be able to do a wash. I'm Scarlett. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Toodaloo!